Greetings. I've been talking to some people about what is going on in this world. And I realise people still are living in a lot of fear. And fear, as we know, leads to the dark side. So why do we have this fear? And I think for a lot of us it's because we don't have connection. We don't have connection with our inner self. We don't have connection to the divine. And we're not feeling a connection of being a part of this planet Earth, this beautiful planet Earth with all its trees and flowers and waters and creatures upon it. We're just not feeling a connection. That severance is making us, well, live in fear, obviously, quite confused. People are confused as to what is going on. And my channel... I'm hoping would be a kind of channel that encourages you to find your connections, your connections with your own self. One of the most important things is about yourself. And also having to face fear. We all have to face fear in many different aspects of it, whether it's fear of how am I going to feed my family, whether it's fear of walking down a street where there's people that seem or appear dangerous to us. Fear of going on that trip. Fear of, you know, you name it. We've all got these strange fears in us. And instead we should be enjoying our life on this earth. And living in some kind of security. So where do we get that security? Personally, I think it's from having to discover who we are ourselves. Each individual has to work upon themselves and work out who they are, what kind of person they are, develop themselves so that they can overcome fear. And usually that's through learning to like yourself, liking oneself, loving oneself, bringing love and warmth into one's heart and into the mind. If we can bring it into the heart, we can then take it up to the mind because normally our fears come from thought forms that we've created within ourselves and thought forms are interesting phenomena as they are. <laughs> you know, they are real. They go up, we make a thought form and it goes out there. It's released into the world in whatever form we've sent it. But, and when we're doing thought forms on ourselves and putting ourselves down, we're creating negativity within ourselves. So we need to obviously do uplifting aphorisms for ourselves, positive aphorisms, I can't even speak, affirmations, positive affirmations. You know, we have to feel good in ourselves, which I know is difficult to do when we're all struggling of living in this lunatic asylum. But any spiritual esoteric path is quite a tough, path to walk it is the weird way because we have to face ourselves look at ourselves and that can be quite damaging for some if we don't realize we're doing it for the betterment for the betterment of ourselves we're doing it because we want to do it so that we can go forward in a safer and more secure way having confident that we are going forth to live that day and that night in trust and security. Obviously I discuss a lot of the Gurdjieff work, which I believe helps develop one, and the Rudolf Steiner lectures, for me, helped me, well, in a way, find a better understanding of what I believe in with the Divine Source and with the Christ, for me. Different religions would have different I'm trying to think of a good word for it like leaders because leaders again isn't the right way different positive role models to look up to and to learn from and then try and bring that kind of way of looking living being into your own being <laughs> we're trying to create ourselves so that we can emanate good vibrations 
most of this material secular world runs on quite not just negative vibrations but vibrations that aren't in tune they're all like chaotic music and we're trying to learn to live in harmony and be harmonious within ourselves so that we can go outside into the world and be harmonious but there will be other tunes out there trying to sing louder be louder <laughs> so i was trying to think of ways of expressing my own confusion at a lot of living out in the real world the real world <laughs> the real world in parentheses of the secular world where i'm trying to also live in a real world where it's a connection where i with myself with the divine and with the planet that I live on. And I think once I've got those three attuned on the days that I have, <laughs> my life runs definitely more smoothly through that day. I still come up against difficulties, but I handled them better. Or perhaps those difficulties are not so damaging as they would be if I was not feeling attuned that day you know we will have days when we can't settle that's why it's important to do work on yourself in the morning preferably first thing because then you can sort your body out sort your mind out sort your heart out so that you're ready to go and face that the day and I also do the same at night before I go to sleep I do a backward reel of the day in slow motion maybe or not being attached to it. Just letting it unroll because then that won't affect me during the night in my sleep. Because <laughs> our uh, memories do like to pop up and just interfere with us, especially at night as we know. So doing a kind of relaxing exercise at night before I go to bed definitely helps. But the reason I was doing this video was because some of the people I've been talking to, and I'm not going to name names obviously, they were saying about how difficult they find it to do that or they don't have time. And this is all effort. We have to put effort into our work on ourselves. You know, there's no magic wand that suddenly makes it all right for us. That's what I used to be waiting for. The ta-da! You know the answers now. You go forth and uh, live perfect life. Well, it doesn't work like that. We find the answers. Many of us are doing the Gurdjieff work. We know what we should be doing. And we have to implement it in our lives, but it takes super efforts. <laughs> and I know for some people that can be difficult. I myself used to struggle in the beginning days. I used to like, at first, it, it was like, this is such a fantastic thing to be doing. I can feel the difference in me. Then, you know, perhaps one day I'll miss doing the exercise in the morning for some reason. And then the next day I wouldn't do it. And uh, <laughs> the sun's just setting behind, over there and it's like causing big shadows, which is really lovely. And then after a few days I would notice, oh, I've gone back to kind of being a bit of my old self and not remembering to do things or I'm not handling things well. Because... I'd broken off from doing the exercises and doing the efforts. I've just realised I've got quite a some bit of a sunburnt face. Sorry, I've been out in the in my friend's garden today. It was nice and sunny, but very windy. I've just realised how red my face is. And uh, there's the dog whining over there. He thinks I'm talking to him. So making the effort, super efforts, is important to do. Because none of us want to live in confusion. 
and we also want to live securely but we have to find something to feel secure in and I'm going to say have a security in your faith you know that's what faith is all about you take the leap of faith and believe that there's more to this world than just this materialistic you know secular world that we see the majority of people doing no I know there is a lot of people that do follow a spiritual path and we don't need to brag about it normally I know I'm, I've got a YouTube channel and I'm talking about it but I'm trying to do it to encourage other people to find their spirituality and their soul and to work upon themselves because I know many people feel quite lonely on this path so I want to encourage you all to go forward and do this work I know it is by yourselves. You've got the books by Gurdjieff to learn from. We've got many books written by people who worked with Gurdjieff. We've got Ospensky's book. The answers are all there and we can take it in intellectually, but then we have to implement it into our lives and do it, be it. And it does take super efforts. But there are times when we get pulled down into the materialistic side of this world and it makes us feel dense in a way of uh, heaviness and we've got to remember that we're trying to become light workers and do the right thing and go forth being well harm harmon oh, now i can't speak harmony is an important part of this and i truly believe we're in a spiritual battle i know someone was saying on my uh, YouTube channel and I do kind of see what he's saying about perhaps Beelzebub's Towers is talking about how free brain beings are all the demons and the demonics and maybe it is, maybe this planet is hell, maybe we are the fallen ones and we're trying to reach our way back up onwards and upwards that's what we're trying to do but many people if it was hell if this is hell this is kind of like what the Cathar theology talks about. I've done a video about that. You can look that up. Cathar theology, I'm sure it's called. And they're saying we're here on a planet that's ruled by um, the uh, Demiurge. So not the divine source, but another a god that's lower than him. Lower than the divine source. And he's ruling it in a bit of a chaotic way. But there are still opportunities for us to get off out of this hell hole. And, you know, a demonics would delude us. They would put us onto this beautiful planet and then delude us, saying that we're, you know, the most important on this planet and we should just live our lives uh, in a materialistic, secular way. Don't worry about going back to the divine. Just live your life now. There's no need for a spiritual path, just live for yourself. Well, with doing the harmonious work and the harmony on ourselves, we're reaching back out to the divine, but we're also trying to be harmonious with the rest of humanity because it's much easier to live in a world where we're all getting along and being harmonious with each other than in a world where everybody's against each other. Which is what the dark forces would want. They would want us all fighting each other. Even the dog agrees with that. So this is why I very much like the Cathar theology. And I would uh, recommend it, or the Gnostic theology, many people would say, would call it, that our mission is to find our way back to the divine. But the people I was with today discussing all this, you know, they are on a spiritual path, but at the same time I also know they're trying to find their way in this world just the same as I am and the rest of you are how to live harmoniously in this world I don't know if it is possible but it is possible to develop ourselves so that we can navigate our way through it in a safer and a more truthful and a more I'm going to say the word happy happy way when we are more confident in ourselves and who we are and this is all part of this esoteric development so thank you all for watching until next time, peace and out.